Okay, I wanted to say that I'm not a news agency or a healthcare provider and that my timing's a little off in this video when I'm describing certain pictures. And since I live in the Saikong District, most of the stuff is going to be Saikong District, but I will have other stuff like from Taipo and I think I have a little bit in Sha Tin also. This clip in Saikong is just basically me showing you how everybody's wearing a mask nowadays. And then I go to the grocery store, people are wearing masks in the grocery stores. And a lot of the groceries, as you can see, and toilet paper are kind of selling out pretty fast. Uh, toilet paper, tissues, um, sanitizer, masks, that's about it. Those tampons are the only thing in there, in that aisle. And um, I took a clip here of just people in line, just waiting to buy toilet paper. Yeah, I mean, as soon as the toilet paper gets put out, it's basically sold. And also, this is me going out. Um, pretty much every time I go out, I wear a mask and bring hand sanitizer. It's just an everyday thing for me right now. And then the following clip, we have uh, people are passing out flyers about closing the border. They want the border closed. Now, the purpose of this in Sha Tin is um, I wanted to show the MTR because basically the MTR is really empty in Sha Tin and I just wanted to, you know, the difference. If you know Sha Tin, it's usually jam-packed and now it's just kind of like a little bit like a ghost town. If you look at this uh, picture right here, there's like nobody. And this is in Hong Kong, and, you know, daylight when usually it's, you know, traffic hour and people are out everywhere. So what I was doing was I was on my way to Tai Po, which watch, this is uh, Tai Po, the escalators were empty in Tai Wo Station. And I needed to pick up masks and sanitizer and stuff for, for my household. And I got some video of another line for toilet paper and masks. This one's for masks, actually. And I just wanted to, this line was went all the way to the street. It was really long. I only, got, I only took a little bit of it, a small picture of it. But also people are, you know, buying out the gloves. They're buying out gloves. Um, I'm looking at different, you know, alternatives of where to shop, buy different foods. So when you go to the store, you know, it's out of bread. It's out of what else? Uh, meat. Certain meats are out. Certain things are out. And um, here are all these different news things I'm showing you. From the South China Morning Post, as you can see, up up at the top it's showing like the the count of infections and stuff and pretty much I've been paying attention to that every day also I've been paying attention to like how to kill off viruses as you can see here uh, different ways uh, vinegar wasabi anything and as, as I have a lot of time on my hand I make a lot of memes for fun as you can see I've just been playing with apps and stuff like that with my family and, you know, killing time, trying to stay indoors. We're kind of on a self-quarantine ourselves. We're not really going out too much. So it's every couple of days we go out, uh, we go shopping for every, like, two days. And we stay in two days or stay in a day. And I've been having a lot of time to hike. So I figured I'd, you know, record my trail, my hiking trail. Uh, in the mornings, I, I walk around the village with, with my kid and then in the evenings I hike the little mountain sides where I live. It's nice to go out and hike and get some fresh air. There's some people who are stuck in the city, they don't have access to the countryside like me, so I appreciate every moment I have to be able to go out and see the mountains and the trees and be with nature. Well, as far as work, um, I was told, you know, February 17th, go back, and then a lot of the students go back to school on uh, March 2nd. They're not even sure about that. But, um, yeah, one of my other jobs, because I have two jobs, uh, told, told me that, you know, basically to, to self-quarantine yourself for 14 days before you come back. But I'm not even sure. I'm having a visa issue with them. I'm waiting for a new visa with that side job. As for the mask situation, I try to order some more masks um, through, my, well, through my job and they 
basically they couldn't get it, they were trying to get it from the UK, so now they're trying to get it from the US. And then, um, I think I have some people coming from the US from my family. You can't, you know, you can't get hand sanitizer and stuff, but um, I have some, and you know, I guess, I guess the coronavirus they're saying isn't that bad. Just you know, we gotta wash up, and, you know, which is normal. You know, basic hygiene and be careful. It's more harmful towards people that are have a less strong, you know, weakened immune system. But better be safe than sorry, because you're still seeing, you know, hearing a lot of stories. So. I just want to add that the the footage after the the trail that I hiked that I showed pretty much after that from now on it's just most of this footage is just footage of Hong Kong it's not during um, this coronavirus warning that we got I I have thought about like if we're gonna leave Hong Kong or you know go somewhere and especially since I have a, a young child but one of the fears I do have is sending him to the airport and he gets sick at the airport or something like that. So, I don't know. We're going to wait right now. The airport bans and the travel bans and this and that, you know, are on the news every day. So, you got to pay attention to what's going on. And if, I don't know, if we go most likely, not we're not going to go to the U.S. We'll probably go to the Philippines if we do leave because my wife is from the Philippines. I do feel lucky though because I do have a friend in Wuhan and right in December when this is kind of a little bit of news, the coronavirus, he invited me over and then, but it just didn't sound safe. I wasn't too sure. But I, you know, I made a good decision. I feel like oh, I got lucky. I could have been trapped in Wuhan, Wuhan or something like that. But he got out of the city too once he found out how serious the problem was. So pretty much, um, I shared everything I wanted to share. I wanted to show some photos of you know, what it's like out here and what I see out here. And, um, I just want to you know, wish everybody luck and you guys stay safe. And goodbye. The rest of the footage, the rest of the videos, just footage of Hong Kong so it's earlier in this video. Alright, guys. Yeah.